Hey guys, my name is Emu and you're watching Techno Right. What's going on guys? Welcome to Techno Right Technology. It's done right. So in today's video, I'm going to teach you on how to fix uh, the error that uh, pops up when you launch the origin setup file where it states that there's a DLL file missing okay oh it's corrupted so we are going to fix that okay so it's a si very simple process and let's get straight into it okay guys so we are going to be using these two links both of these links will be in the description below okay so uh you go on to the first link i have to copy and paste it but uh, you don't have to do that you can just click on it and it will take you to that page okay so this will take you to my google drive where i have the two DLL files in a zip file. So we're going to download that. Okay. Once that's downloaded, close this, open that up. Okay. And then open this file up and take this two file and put it in your desktop. Okay. And then you can delete this and delete the zip file. Okay. So this is the two main files you need. Now what you're going to do is you're going to go into your C folder. Then you're going to go into Windows. Okay, and then you're going to search for the SysWow64. Okay, make sure it's this. Double click on it. Okay, and now you're going to paste these two files right here. Make sure it's not in one of these folders, guys. Make sure it's right in the root of the folder. So uh, if you don't have these two files, you will get the error and it will just paste it. Since I have the two files already in here, i having this pop up. Okay, so. Once you have pasted that in, you're going to close this and you're going to go into the next link that I gave you. Okay. I'm going to copy this, put it in the browser. Okay. So here you're going to download the visual C++ redistributable runtimes where uh, it has all the versions in it. Okay. So you're going to click on the download button. And you can choose any server you want, which server is closer to you. I'm going to choose this since this has 35% server load. Okay, guys, once it's downloaded, just okay. So, once you open it up, you're going to create a new folder and name it uh, runtime. Okay, and then move all of these files in here. Okay, once all of it is pasted, close this, open this right click on this okay and click on run as administrator click yes and this will allow it to install all of the versions from 2005 to the uh currently released version Okay guys, so once it's done, it will just uh, close the window by itself. And now you can go and click on the origin setup file and it should work accordingly. So if you have any other questions or any other problems, please put it down in the comments below. And I think that's about it. So please rate, comment and subscribe. And I'm out.